Howard Stern has cemented his place as a radio legend over the course of a long and controversial career, perfecting the art of making his guests feel relaxed and prompting them to share very personal stories. In fact, Stern's guests often find themselves answering questions that would never fly in most interviews. Here are some of the most outrageous and shocking celebrity confessions uttered on The Howard Stern Show. Mr. and Mrs. Smith Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith have long been one of Hollywood's most beloved couples. They've been married for more than two decades and share two kids together as well as Will's son from a previous marriage. Still, Jada and Will have been the subject of rumors regarding their open marriage. Jada took to Stern's show in 2015 to set the record straight. You gotta trust who you're with. I and know. at the end of the day, right? Yeah. I I'm not here to be anybody's watcher. So what does not being Will's watcher mean for their relationship? I'm not the kind of woman that believes that a man is not going to be attracted to other women. I'm just not that girl. Right. And just because your man is attracted to another woman does not mean he doesn't love you. That confession, of course, did nothing to quiet the gossip about this power couple. But hey, whatever their relationship is like, it's clearly working for them. Madonna's Lost Love Madonna's dating history includes a lengthy list of well-known men, including Sean Penn, Guy Ritchie, and even Vanilla Ice. But during a show-stopping interview with Howard Stern in 2015, the material girl dropped a dating bomb by revealing a previously unknown romantic relationship. The news emerged as Stern was grilling Madonna about her infamous, profanity-laced 1994 interview with David Letterman. I was dating Tupac Shakur at the time, and the thing is, he like got me all riled up about life in general, so when I went on this show, I was feeling very gangster. That that explanation caught Stern totally off guard. I didn't know you dated I, Tupac That was Shakur. a surprise. That's never been out there, I don't think. Gee, I know. You may not want to burn the bridge that gave you success. Just ask Channing Tatum. In 2015, the actor bashed the studio that gave him a three-picture movie deal, slamming his role in the 2009 film G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra. Look, I'll be, I'll be honest, I hate that movie. Tatum was brutally honest when he described the quality of the project. It, the script wasn't any good. I didn't want to do something that I thought was, one, bad, and two, I just didn't know if I want to be G.I. Joe. Tatum also explained to Stern that he felt pushed into doing the movie by the studio. They they give you the contract and they go, three picture deal, here you go. And as a young, you're like, oh my God, yeah, that sounds yeah. amazing, I'm doing that. Regardless, Tatum's career seems to be doing just fine. Divorce Landia. After only knowing each other for a year, Fred Armisen married Elizabeth Moss in 2009, only for the pair to call it quits eight months later. Speaking of their marriage, Moss told New York Magazine, It was extremely traumatic and awful and horrible. The Handmaid's Tale star has opened up to several publications since then, with her blunt assessment of where the blame should lie for the demise of their relationship. In a particularly harrowing 2012 interview with Page Six, she shared, One of the greatest things I heard someone say about Armisen is, he's so great at doing impersonations but the greatest impersonation he does is that of a normal person. To me, that sums it up. Naturally, when Armisen sat down with Stern a year later, the topic came up. Oh well, you must dear. have been a terrible what husband. Did you do? I think I'm a terrible, I think I'm a, I was a terrible husband. I think I'm a terrible boyfriend. Armisen then revealed that he rushes into relationships before thinking things through. Somewhere around like a year, two years, I get freaked out. Freaked out emotionally, Wait. and it actually feels like, I actually feel like, oh my God, who's the stranger in my house? Lauer's True Colors A lot has happened with Matt Lauer since 2013, but in the summer of that year, the former Today Show personality stopped by Stern's Sirius XM studio and opened up about his relationship with Katie Couric, his former co-anchor. Couric confessed to having a crush on Lauer during an earlier appearance on Stern, so naturally this became a hot topic of discussion. Lauer told Stern, She's a very attractive woman, not only physically, but her personality. If she's a 9 or a 10 physically, she's a 14 because she's got a great personality. She's fun. Lauer said he never pursued a romantic relationship with his co-worker, but made the outrageous boast that if he had, Couric would not have been able to resist his charms, adding, She would have been knocking on my door constantly. She would have never left me alone. Lady Gaga's Devil Lady Gaga is known for bearing every element of her soul in her music. Whether it's talking about depression, abuse, or political rights, she's an open book. During a 2011 interview with Stern, the pop star came clean about heavy drug use in her past. I was so unhappy. Right. Yeah. I think that I was lonely, and there was something about the drug that made me feel like I had a friend. Gaga says she became creative during that time, but that it wasn't worth it. Yeah, I did it all alone in my apartment, and I wrote music. I regret every line I ever did. So to any of the little sweethearts that are listening, don't touch it, it's the devil. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.